Have you been told you have thyroid issues, hypothyroidism, hyperthyroidism, and looking for natural remedies? Then this video is for you. I'm Dr. Karen Drummond, owner of Drummond Chiropractic. And as always, before you follow any advice from any video, check with your healthcare provider to make sure it's appropriate for your specific condition. And hopefully that's one of us here at Drummond Chiropractic. So you're looking for natural remedies for your thyroid. So in this video, I'm going to share with you more about your thyroid, about the blood work that's typically involved and how to get to the root cause of your thyroid symptoms. So what does thyroid do? It simply releases thyroid hormones. What are these thyroid hormones? There's T3 that regulates the metabolism of every cell in our body. There's T4 that helps the cells produce enzymes that give the cells energy. And can you see how since every cell in our body needs thyroid hormones to function properly, that if you're low in thyroid hormones, that's going to affect all the cells. And if the cells are already kind of malnourished or having genetic vulnerabilities, that it's going to be more symptomatic than others. This is why people with low thyroid hormone are fatigued or they can experience hair loss or GI issues or heart conditions. This is why high or low thyroid hormones can drastically affect the body in a myriad of ways. In a healthy body, as the cells in the body use the thyroid hormones, the levels in the blood go down and there are glands in the brain that detect these lower levels. And so the pituitary gland will scream at the thyroid, make more thyroid hormone. And they do this through the hormone called the thyroid stimulating hormone because it stimulates the thyroid to make more thyroid. So then the levels in the blood will go back up and the glands in the brain will detect that the levels are back to normal and then it will not produce as much of that thyroid stimulating hormone, which we shorten into TSH, and so that the levels get back into their normal state. So this is called a negative feedback loop and this is how the body maintains normal levels of T3 and T4. So when you do a blood work, a lot of times the doctors will just test for the TSH, that thyroid stimulating hormone, because they are going to deduce if your thyroid stimulating hormone levels are within the normal range, that your thyroid is healthy. But even though this makes sense, this isn't always the case. There are patients that have high TSH, high thyroid stimulating hormone, but normal thyroid levels. How can this be? Well, what happens if you're deficient in the building blocks that your thyroid needs to make the thyroid hormone? Things like iodine or even vitamin D can negatively impact the thyroid's ability to make thyroid hormone. So you can have the pituitary gland overly communicating to the thyroid, hey, make more thyroid because the thyroid's being a little sluggish in making the thyroid hormone. So can you see how just testing the TSH isn't sufficient enough to determine if you have a thyroid condition. So if you have been prescribed a thyroid hormone after simply one blood work that showed your TSH was high, maybe it was just high that day. If you're truly concerned you have a thyroid issue, you should be looking at more than just your TSH. You should be looking at the T3, T4, and free T4 before any kind of medical intervention is taken. And even if they are off, a doctor that prescribes something without looking at your diet, stress levels, exercise, amount of sleep, and then is prescribing you things, I call those drug dealers, not doctors. It's important that you get to the root cause. I'll share with you a story. I had a patient, she had all the classic signs of hypothyroidism, and she had blood work that showed her TSH was high. But upon further evaluation, we looked at her T3 and her T4 levels were perfectly normal. Looking at her diet, we found that she was doing salt that was low in iodine and that she was very low in vitamin D. So we supplemented with vitamin D and iodine, her symptoms went away, and now her blood work is perfectly fine. It only took a matter of two months to get to the levels that she needed to be at. So I can't stress enough, you have to look at more than just your TSH. What about hyperthyroidism, when your thyroid's making too much thyroid? Well, this can be a result of an overactive nodule in your thyroid or inflammation of your thyroid. And it could be due to a disease of your thyroid, a disease called Graves' disease, which generally has a genetic component where your thyroid is being attacked by your own immune system, causing it to make too much thyroid. But regardless of whether you're hypo or hyperthyroid, even if there's a genetic component, 
Try natural remedies first. Often the thyroid has issues because of an imbalance in your gut and an inflamed state of your body. Again, if your body is in an inflamed state, it's going to be in a dis-ease state and lead to disease, like things like Graves' disease, if you have that genetic vulnerability. But if you get your body back in a balanced state by looking at your nutrition, eating an anti-inflammatory diet, avoiding inflammatory foods, and then also making sure you're getting enough sleep so your body can repair and calm back down and getting exercise so that the body's fluids, the blood flows in, the metabolic waste drains out. Can you see how that's going to facilitate the healing and get your body in its optimal state? If you eat well, sleep well, and move well, chances are you're going to be well. So I hope this has encouraged you to find a healthcare provider that will work with you naturally first to see if it's enough to where you won't be symptomatic anymore. If you found this information helpful, don't forget to click that like button to help our channel out. Or if you'd like to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions and you want me to talk about something more specifically, you know we love to hear from you. Go ahead and write them in the comments below. And until next time, stay well.